South African President Cyril Ramaphosa unveiled his expanded cabinet on Sunday. The 32 ministers and 43 deputy ministers from various political parties will govern the country for the next five years under a government of national unity. The incoming government will prioritize rapid, inclusive and sustainable economic growth and the creation of a more just society by tackling poverty and inequality, as well as unemployment. Uh, we welcome the inclusion of women and youth in the cabinet um, and we also the diversity of it, uh, that uh, the president really did work hard to make sure that he included all the parties into the GNU. We're hoping that this, you know, it shows commitment. It shows commitment to make this work. The unveiling of the new cabinet brought an end to two weeks of uncertainty and boosted market sentiment. However, the real test will be the GNU's ability to address a long list of challenges, including creating jobs and maintaining a stable power supply. The economy is about ports, it's about roads, it's about agriculture, it's about the industry, it's about proper functioning, cost-effective power generation, water supply, housing. That's the economy, that's the real economy. That's where people's lived reality is affected by how we run these different sectors. The cabinet size has also drawn some criticism with the ruling African National Congress taking up most of the seats despite winning just 40% of the vote. Nonetheless, South Africans remain hopeful that this government will set the country on a better path. I think it's a great start because we needed this alliance for a new, to form a new government. And with this new government, we're just trying to see what can come of it. The country was falling and we needed something fresh, something new, and I think this is it. I feel like we need more younger people in the parliament rather than having old people. I feel like everybody's tired of having old people. They've been here for how long now? Since 1990s. You understand? So I feel like change is a bit needed. The members of the seventh administration are being sworn in this week before they get down to addressing the pressing issues facing the country.